to Goddess Guidance. And to all my new viewers, thank you so, 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 so much <laughs> for tuning in. Welcome to Goddess Guidance. I'm Jasmine, but you can call me the Lemurian Goddess. And I'm here to bring you guys the weekend wine. Oh, yes. You know how we like to do on the weekends. We like to get lit. <laughs> we like to get lit. But, um... First of all, I want to apologize because because I wanted to put this out a lot a lot earlier, but I was getting so much, and I feel like I kind of got it. I kind of got what they're trying to say for this weekend. It's a lot, so make sure you stay with me, okay? <laughs> but I'm, I'm I'm gonna try to make it as simple as possible for you guys to understand, because I have a complex mind. My mind is real all over the place, but um. So, the first message that I heard, we're going to get right into it, okay? Um, the first message that I heard was the, the dragon's duel. The dragon's duel. So, the inner battle, some type of inner conflict. Um, some type of crossroad you're at, right? Uh... It's a battle with the ego and the soul. The spirit and the soul. The logic and the intuition. It's a battle that you have been through numerous times before. But this time the battle was different because you have the key. My beautiful G3 family, you got the key now. Your choices, your decisions are, they, they won't bring, your choices won't bring the same results. There we go, thank you mother. Your choices are not going to bring the same results now because you're choosing wisely. This weekend is a weekend about choosing wisely, moving intentionally. Yeah, it's some type of dragon's duel. Something is going on inside. It's time to move intentionally. It's time to move with purity. Anything that's not pure of heart will die away, will fall off, will, will not reap a harvest the springtime, anything that wasn't pure of heart will be in some type of confusion. It's something about this dragon's duel. Some people fed the dragon of ego and pride, lust and jealousy and deception and dishonor, disloyalty. Some people fed the dragon of truth love, compassion, uh, honesty, peace, uh, admiration. Uh, yeah, it's like there's two harvests this spring. It's a harvest that, mm, there's a harvest that won't bring forth any type of life. And there's a harvest that's going to bring abundance beyond no other. It all depends on or depended on what dragon you decided to feed. Uh, this weekend, your choices depends on the strongest dragon. How did you move? in a certain situation. Now you're at a crossroad to on, on which way to go when it comes to the situation, but you want to go left. You want to go left because of fear. You're scared of making the wrong choice. This weekend, you're scared to make the wrong choice or maybe you're coming up to a choice where you're scared to decide which way to go, but mother is saying it's your intention. How, what are you going to get from this choice? Um, if you choose 
righteously, if you choose purity, if you choose love, if you choose peace, if you choose what brings you abundance, what brings you joy, what brings you honor, success, that's the choice. Uh, that choice can be scary. Somebody's, uh, yeah, yeah, you're afraid to make a choice this weekend, a dragon's duel, but stay with me because it's more. Because I'm talking to the millennial mind. This is why I said you have a key. You have the key. The millennial mind has the key. Uh, see, she was trying to get me to understand something about Generation X all day. Generation X, I mean, no, no, I'm sorry, Generation Y, forgive me. She was, she, she's been trying to get me to understand something about Generation Y all day. The millennials, okay? The millennials are born between 1981 and 1996, okay? This is Generation Y. The, these are the spiritualists. These are the ones that come into the knowing. Um, I got that because... Uh, I was watching Stranger Things. I, I, I binged it because I love that show. But I was watching Stranger Things and she brought me back to the scene. If, if you guys didn't get to that part, I, I'm sorry, you know, but this 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 ties into what I, what I got to say tonight. So ew, forgive me. <laughs> forgive me. Forgive me. But um, oh, my eyes were closed. I, I, I truly be in the zone. But um, <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying. I lost it. See, I opened my eyes. I opened my eyes and lost it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so back to what I was saying. Um, she brought me back to a part where they were playing chess. L and, and one was playing chess, right? And he handed her a key. The key was so she could escape. She was supposed to go through this black hole, this darkness. Okay, so somebody, he, she was trying to show me that the millennials have the key. The, the, the millennials have the key. But then it was more. She, it, it, it wasn't just the millennials. It was a millennial mindset. See, what happened with the the children or that generation came the internet see because I, I was trying to figure out what was the key what was the key that the the millennials or generation y had and it was the internet mm. the internet came and changed the world it, it was a part in uh, Stranger Things too. when the girl was talking about the internet. It was like, what's the internet? And she was like, oh, it's just something that's going to change the world. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's something that's going to change the world. And that's what the internet did. And it came in, in the w w with the generation, with the millennials. It came with Generation Y. That was the key. The key, see, the internet brought all of the information that you needed. It brought it to your fingertips. So now it gave you the power to tap into your power to really get truth on who and what you are that is what the millennial mind is mother said it's not just the generation because we have generation uh uh, uh extras and and we have baby boomers that have a millennial mind that understand who they are and what's going on the millennial mind is just a spiritual mind a mind that understands who and what they are okay a mind that understands, uh, a mind that no longer has a dragon's duel. See, it's time to balance out these energies. See, the dragons want to have harmony with each other. One doesn't want to be stronger than the other anymore. The father of you doesn't want to be stronger than the mother of you and the mother of you doesn't want to be stronger than the father of you they want to work together see the age of aquarius where is it's the age of knowing is where you know the truth now and you can use your wisdom in your in your intuition to to maneuver with the truth in the intuition the balance of those two things see the internet brought 
the knowledge. It, it brought the understanding. It brought the tree of knowledge to your fingertips. It gave you the apple. This is why you walk around with an apple phone all day. You have the apple. You have the key. That's what Eve brought to Adam, right? That's what the snake gave to, to, to Eve, right? The snake was just Lilith energy, was just the, the, the truth. The snake was just a representation of, 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 of the Kundalini energy, the, the Holy Spirit within you. You, the knowledge within you. She bit into that the apple or the pomegranate because that's really what it was. Okay, it wasn't an apple. It was a pomegranate. She 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 uh, bit into this fruit. Oh, we can call it a fruit, whatever. Because I wasn't there, so you know, and and whatever. You know what I'm saying? A fruit. She bit into this fruit, but this 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 fruit was the key. Mother gave her the knowledge, and she accepted it with the bite of the fruit when she said I do when she married the mother when he, listen it gets deep but you but do you understand what I'm saying when when she got the knowledge she was able to now use it all use all of her see it's, it's time to balance something out Something has to come into balance this weekend, okay? The millennial mind has the key to find the balance. It's at your fingertips. Whatever you're trying to understand, whatever you need to understand, even about who and what you are, you can find on the internet. Uh, wh whatever you need to do. Like I said, the millennial mind is a spiritual mind. It's time to get more into your, your in, into that spiritual aspect of who you are. Understand your spiritual body. Understand how how to nourish it how to how to love it how to treat it understand that this life is is more spiritual than it is physical understand it's time to nourish your spiritual body millennials because the millennials birth generation alpha who yeah the generation y births Generation Alpha. See, Mother also told me that Generation Y, see, when Elle was presented with the key that led her to this dark hole, this black hole, which is a representation of the womb. Darkness, the unknown. She was presented with this key to go to the unknown. See, mm, the internet allows you to tap into the things that are unknown to you, right? See, there's a lot of things unknown to you, especially about who you are. You can figure these things out through the internet, but now it's, oh, somebody, oh, somebody likes to search a lot on the internet. Ah, but it's a balance. See, mother wants you to, to maybe cut off the computer See, I'm getting a lot at one time. See, it's somebody that needs to understand how, that needs to tap into the, the, the internet and, and start searching and studying spirituality and understanding it and, and, and growing in, 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 in that aspect of the, themselves because they don't know. And there's some people that that's all they do and now it's time to tap into the, their intuition, who they, listen, it's a balance in this thing. The dragon's duel, <laughs> the millennial mind understands that is no longer a duel because we have to work together. See, Generation Y is here to rebirth, to rebuild mm, the Master Masons. The Master Masons have been reborn. See, listen, somebody here has a lot of Masonic knowledge and wisdom maybe somebody you know in your in your in your bloodline has ha, had that or somebody was in the, i don't know it, it's like it's 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 in you though all of this occult knowledge all of this wisdom is in you as you go higher you unlock more see that's the key 
the key is using the tools to, um, to be able to unlock the gates within us. Mm. Mother told me today that every chakra has a gate. You got to go through the gates. You got to go through the gatekeepers. The millennials are here to go through the gatekeepers, the millennial mind, the one that understands I am that I am. Are y'all are y'all still with me? We gonna get into these cards. We are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are. But I feel like it's all about choices and making choices that's going to to serve your logic and your intuition that's going to make sense both physically and emotionally. Mm, maybe with a love partner. If, if it only makes sense physically, it's not the one. If it only makes sense spiritually, it's not the one. It's something about a balance. Mm. We're going to get deeper into the energy and see what you got to balance out this weekend. Okay, we are. We definitely are. Love you so much, Mother. Thank you so much for the messages that has already come through. Thank you so, 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 so. Uh, I ask for clarity. I ask for clear, direct messages for my, for my G3 family. I ask that they leave with the clarity that they came seeking. Clear direct messages, all messages for our highest good mother. Listen, listen. Mm. Your intuition is talking to you. Your intuition is talking to you. Ooh, two, three, progression. Ah, there's something that's progressing this weekend. Ooh, something that's daydreams and decisions. Ooh, something that you, I love this. I love this already. Something that you desire. A well-deserved reward. Oh, something that you, you real passionate about. See, see, this is why it's a, it's a battle. This is why it's a battle. And it's with some type of love situation. This is why it's a battle. But it can be any type of connections, any type of, you know, however this is playing out for you. Any type of battle, but you, you, it's, it's it's a battle because I, I, I see somebody here is, is a daydreamer. Yeah, it's like if it doesn't, mm, you're in your head a lot. Yeah, you're in, a, you're in your head a lot. That's the battle. The battle is you don't want to mess up. You don't want to make the wrong decision, but you have the key now. You have the key. Mm. Yeah, you was at this crossroad before. You've done this before. You don't want to make the same decisions. You don't want to be in a cycle. You're trying to break a routine, but it breaks. Yeah, I'm seeing that you do not repeat the same cycle. See, you the numbers here are two, three. That show me progression. And then we have seven and nine. No eight because it's not, it's a new cycle. It's not the same cycle. Ooh, you like how I did that? It's because numbers talk, baby. Men lie, women lie, but the numbers don't lie, baby. The numbers don't lie. Okay? Ain't no eight here. Because at the end of the day, you, it's, it's a different cycle. It's something new. It's something new. It's something new. And it's a well-deserved reward. I'm seeing that somebody struck gold. Mm. Somebody struck gold. But it's, ooh, yeah. Love abounds, reach out. Somebody's about to reach out. Somebody wants to make some type of, some type of, Offer in love. They've been manifesting you. They're ready to spread their rings. Somebody's ready to reach out with you. Somebody's daydreaming about you because they feel like they deserve you. You you feel like you deserve this. So they fit some it's, it's it's they feel like somebody feels like they deserve you. Wait, wait, where are we going with this mother? 
Where are we going with this? Because it, because I, if this is what's going on, then I understand why they at the crossroad. You know what I'm saying? Because somebody feels like they can conquer you. Like they deserve you. Like that's how I feel. Like, you know, like, like, wait, 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 wait. What's going on here? <laughs> but mother is talking with this listen. Look how she's looking. I feel like you got to listen about something. You got to listen when it comes to some type of love situation. Yeah, you got to maybe change your focus. Mm, joy, stability. Somebody wants joy and stability with you. You want joy and stability with something. You want to share your love with something, but it's breaking your heart or something broke your heart before. Mm. And that's what it is. You're scared to make the, the, the same decision. The, I mean, you're scared to go through the same outcome. Maybe because you already see that somebody is kind of like, somebody has an over, or over inflated ego. Yeah. I don't know why I'm getting that. I feel like this is some masculine energy. Maybe I'm talking to a divine feminine here. I'm talking to a feminine energy that's very, that that's that really put their heart back together, or, or you know, just 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 really healed themselves in all aspects of the of their lives. Like you really healed your heart. You really did that shadow work. You really became some type of whole being. You put your heart back together again, and and you're in this position where you're you're. you're you're guarded because you want to keep your heart together or it doesn't have to necessarily be a, a divine feminine it can just be somebody anybody in this feminine energy whoever whoever um is in this fem feminine energy you're like i put my heart back together i'm not allowing it to be broke again but somebody feels like i don't know i don't uh yeah let me clarify yeah somebody's mm, the base chakra root chakra Mm, that red is giving me passion. This masculine is ooh, red, this red too around this masculine. So I feel like this somebody this this masculine energy feels like. Wait a minute. It's something about the ego. You're guarding your heart because because of the e of the ego that you sense in somebody. You're scared of the ego, or you're scared of somebody's ego. You're scared of this masculine's ego. Or this feminine can be in masculine energy. You're scared of this feminine ego and maybe this is this is the battle within because your heart is so guarded but let me clarify because I just feel like something is something about gold maybe money tangible assets something about you don't want to be broke you don't want to Oh, you're in your masculine energy. It's like maybe somebody is not even... Mm. Clarify this, this well-deserved. The Ten of Wands. I feel like you left something. I feel like you left a masculine energy that was like this or you're leaving some type of energy that's like this that that's like that has this over it's like they, they feel like they deserve you like somebody wants to control you and you're at this crossroad of if i should leave the situation but this is why mother wants somebody to choose peace love what will love do and 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 self-love right and i feel like somebody has chosen self-love when it has come to a situation dealing with 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 an X. This is an X. This is somebody who didn't deserve you. 
who felt like they deserved you, but now you're going, you're going, you're coming into something that you deserve because you found balance. You you came into the millennial mind. This is giving me some type of higher realm, some type of, you know, portal. Like you, you went through some type of portal and and you became this this master. You became this. Somebody became the internet. Listen, okay. <laughs> the all knowing, like you, 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 like you don't really need anything no more. It's all within you now. And now you're going, you're walking into something because that's what the millennial mind is. The, 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 the build, the rebuilder. You, you're here to rebirth something. The generation alpha. The, the millennial mind births alphas. People that's here to, like, I, oh, that's what the, okay, the millennial mind is here to leave legacies. You're creating a legacy. And that's what you're blocking right now. I mean, not, not blocking, that's what you're protecting. You're protecting this legacy. And this is why mother had to pull you from whatever energies that was trying to stand on you. Because I feel like they were, somebody was trying to control your money or somebody wanted to control your money. You was at a crossroad with this person. So it doesn't, so however it's playing out, this can be friends, family, lovers, people that were close to you, people that were in your energy that, that, that made you, that made you feel like you needed them. I feel like you came into your power when you came into this millennial mind, this millennial mindset, the G generation Y. When you can't, when you when you took the key, you went through the portal, you went through this this spiritual growth, this change, this self mastery. You put in the work. Yeah, that's the millennial mind. So you had to be stripped of these energies that wanted to conquer you. It was energies around you that wanted to conquer you. And you did exactly what you were supposed to do. You picked up and you left because you do have a well-deserved reward. Something that you, that you daydream about. Ooh, look at this devil here. Yeah, the goat Capricorn energy. Somebody here is, is now the goat. See, I knew, see, this is, this is, see, okay. Oh, I'm seeing... <laughs> orbs but um somebody was trying to attack your, your your daydreams somebody was trying to 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 manipulate your decisions see this is why see this is why you was at it was a battle this battle was because you didn't want to release things but you had to release things the battle was turning you into the goat Somebody passionate about their their legacy. Mm. Yeah, you're somebody very passionate about your legacy, and people was trying to infiltrate your mind, your decisions. People that you have let go of, people that energies from your past, karmic relationships, karmic family members, karmic uh, cycles. They were trying to manipulate you. Had had you in some duel that you don't belong in because now now that you have advanced now that you have ascended you understand now that this these are battles and fights that i don't even belong in i don't duel no more there's harmony with my dragons i i i sit down with my demons see somebody understand that yeah you are both energy so you know how to control the devil in you and the Jesus in you the devil in you and the Jesus in you are one yeah that's a whole being see that's another thing that they were saying on um stranger things the doctor was talking about uh some people choose to be one or the other but when you be both that's when you become whole and she said well what if I don't want to be whole and she said and he said well that is your choice yeah, everybody has a choice. You don't have to be whole. But a whole person understands how to move through the womb. 
when you come into harmony with yourself, you're no longer afraid of the darkness because you understand that that's when you shine the brightest. That's the only time you see the stars is when it's dark. You're no longer afraid of the darkness. See, see, mother wants you to make decisions and choices that's going to move you, that's going to progress you along this journey this weekend. She wants you to make choices that's that that that's coming from the millen the millennial mind state and mindset of who and what you are. And not just this weekend, baby. It this is this it this this is the start. Every time you make choices and decisions, you're making it from a millennial mindset from this, from here on out. Hello. Are you not? <laughs> this is just confirmation as to how you're supposed to move. Well, is the darkness really where I'm supposed to go? Yes. Is this really, I did this before. I, I, I've made this time. Is this really what I'm supposed to do? Yes. Because now you're doing it from a millennial mind state. It's not going to have the same outcome. See, you see, maybe you, you've been scarred from past things, past cycles, past people. But mother is saying it's about to be a plethora of new things in your life. Allow them to come through. Do not allow the past to stop you. The past wants to stop you. They're, they're, they're sending things, evil things towards your daydreams. You're, you're thinking that you can't do something, but it's not even your thoughts. You're thinking that you can't make it, but it's not even your thoughts. It's these past people that's thinking these things because they, they under, listen, alchemy, people, you, 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 you didn't leave, reg you left regular people behind and, and powerful people behind, people that's powerful in their lower self who understands, that, and even if they don't understand how to use their magic, they've been feeding this, this lower self of theirs that is strong enough to try to, 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 to infiltrate things. So you'll be sitting there thinking one, one thing, knowing that you're great at something, knowing that you're a master at something, then thinking that you're not good enough. Understand, yes, you play a part in that because once you start thinking those low vibrational thoughts, a plethora of other ones are able to attach on to you. So now, man, maybe I can't do this. And then, oh, everything, what this person was thinking about you, what that person was thinking about you, what, it's, it's, it's just waiting, just waiting for the door. And once you give the, once you open the door, they're going to jump on you. And that's what's, and that's what's happening. So if anybody is feeling like they can't do something, when you know that you're a master at something, when you know that you're good at something, that's not you, baby. And that's confirmation for somebody. Why do I feel this way? Why do I, what's going on? That's what somebody is thinking. That's what somebody is saying. Why do, what's happening? This is not me. It's not. Listen, listen. Look, listen, listen to yourself. Listen to what you're saying. This is not me. It's not. It's these low vibrational energies that these people are sending towards you. Mother said there's greatness for you. Greatness that you know is for you. You're, you're progressing. You know it's for you. Yeah, we have hiccups and bumps in the road. It's all right. But you know whatever is coming towards you is well deserved. You did the work. Look at look how she's... Sh sh Nothing is bringing is breaking this heart apart unless she wants it to. It's her hands. That's the only thing that's going to break this heart that has already been broken. You put your heart back together. You you no longer want to duel no more. The millennial mind understands I don't have to duel no more. Somebody made peace with their root chakra. Wow. Somebody made peace with their past. I like that. Somebody made peace with, 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 with whatever you had to let go of. You may see something hurt you and you made peace with that hurt. You made peace with it. I love that. I love that. Because that's what that's that's the millennial mind. It's spiritual. It understands. It's balanced. That's what the start I wanted to jump out. It's balanced. Ooh, share the love. Look at that. Look what's clarifying. Share the love. Seven of Cups. Choices. You, 
you know the the millenn the millenn the, the millennial mind <laughs> knows how to make choices, how to make wise choices, wise decisions. See, this is what these people didn't want you to do. This is why you had to leave these energies in the past. This is why. This is why you had to pick up all everything that that you had. I don't, whatever it was, and you had to leave the path behind. You had to end something. Something was over. You ended cycles. You ended cycles. And it and it and it and it healed this dragon's duel because you were able to ascend. See, it was a duel. That's what I'm saying. It was a fight within you, but the fight was because of what you was around. Now you have ascended. You have healed. You have made peace. You are in your millennial mind. And you're here to leave a legacy so the alphas can keep it going. See, the alphas are going to take whatever you're leaving and, and, and expand it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The alpha. I love that. They're going to be in charge. The head. The head honcho. See, you're, you're, you're creating something that's going to, 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 to change the age, change your, your blood, your, your generation, the generations. See, it's a chess game going on, but I've realized that the chess game is not necessarily with the people as, as much as, oh, they got the people on the board. They got the generations on the board. Ah. And how the generations advances is how the people move, how they grow. And they're banking on you not to grow, but the millennial mind got the key. L got the key. Somebody slid her the key. Some, some ancestors, somebody of yours slid you the key. When you unlocked who you were, you unlocked a lot, baby. You unlocked true knowing. You unlocked people. You unlocked the womb. You unlocked the womb. Ah, the millennial mind is here to bring justice. Yeah, this weekend, some something is... Mother is turning around on something in your favor. Something that that holds value to you. Something that you love. Some, it's, it's something that or somebody that you love. It's something that you're very passionate about. Something that you've been doing for a long time. Something you've been doing for a long time is about to get justice. Or somebody has been doing something to you for a long time. And justice is, is about to be served. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's what that's another message that I'm getting with this devil energy and this justice and this listen. See, see, somebody was sending the, something to you, but mother was listening, and 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 they think they're going to get. Like, what type of harvest do you think you're going to get with the seeds that you have sown? Some type of justice is about. To, Somebody has to say something. Somebody is hearing something. Mother is, is, is somebody has to repent. Mm. Uh, somebody here has to say sorry. They have to bring justice to you. Maybe that's what's going to come this weekend. That's what's coming, you know, or, or, or you know, maybe, Monday. you know how time works. Maybe somebody already came and apologized to you, tried to, 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 to offer you some type of love, try to hand you a heart that was already broken. But this energy wasn't healed. Something about this energy. Something has to be balanced with it. This is why it has to be some type of communication. The truth has to be spoken. I could be talking to a Libra here or somebody who has a Libra in their chart. This is going to be about you or somebody around you. Hmm. 
Mother wants you to bring justice to a situation. Mother wants you to speak. Somebody has to speak. Somebody doesn't know how to approach you now with this millennial mind. Yeah, somebody is up all night trying to figure out how to approach you with some type of... You have a new mind. They broke your heart. Somebody broke your heart in the past and they want to approach you. Maybe this weekend they're thinking about it heavy this weekend. Yeah, some type of king of pentacles. Look, thinking about it heavy. Trying to make some type of decision on, on how to approach you because they know... They cause some type of tower moment playing some type of games in the past. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's a king of pentacles. Some type of boss energy. Somebody who... who somebody who was supposed to offer some long, something long term, but they wasn't. They were, tr they were supposed to offer some type of, you know, happy life, happy long term success but they weren't they were playing games and it brought some type of tarot moment now they got to make some type of decision but the decision is do i say something or do i not so that's some that's somebody's duel that's somebody's duel right now with their dragons the mother is saying balance these dragons out you know what you have to do you know you have to balance the scales you know you have to bring justice to a situation you know you have to speak uh somebody wants their money to speak Somebody says money talks. Somebody feels like if they have money, they don't have to speak about something. Uh, but not to the millennial mind. The millennial mind deserves justice. The universe is bringing the millennial mind justice. You received justice this week. Something is coming towards you. Yeah, somebody's coming to give you some type of, yeah, they, they're looking at you. They're observing you. They're watching you because they don't know how to approach this, this new mindset of yours. Yeah, you're too strong. You're stronger than this king of pentacles. You're stronger than this person who 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 caused some type of paramount tower moments and play some type of games whoever whoever that energy is has to make some type of decision has to bring some type of justice to the situation and then and 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 and, and you're, you're willing to listen because the millennial mind is a balanced mind this is what this energy has to understand this energy is stuck in fear because they know they play they know they know they play with the wrong one do you play with her no she don't look like nothing to play with nothing <laughs> you're, you're, you're strong so this week you can you can be you know uh um, it maybe already happened somebody want to offer you something but you have your heart guarded because you, you're going towards a legacy you're building a legacy you have you have the keys you're building a legacy now so if something doesn't go with the legacy if something that doesn't serve the legacy yeah look at that death and the queen of cups it's yeah you, you're focused on building your legacy you're focused on what you love to do you're putting an end to, to things that doesn't serve you. you you're not going through the same cycles that's what the, the it's like you know now not to go through the cycles anymore you know how to not go so you'll listen to the you'll listen to whoever has to if it's you my g3 family that has to balance a, a situation out go ahead and do that it, you, like you can't move forward until you do these things until you have these conversations your intuition is telling you this is why somebody has to listen this is why somebody's in some type of battle and some type of duel and some type of they have some type of inner conflict going on some type of inner war somebody somebody is mentally unstable right now because they because they're scared to make a choice a decision they're scared that's what that's who fear 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 will cause mental mental illnesses <laughs> but to, to cure the mental illness is just to listen to the intuition so if that's you G, my g3 just listen to the intuition don't obsess about something don't wear your mind out about something okay if something is bothering you if something you if you have to say something if something you know if, if you know that you did something it's, it, you got to fix something say something like say something you know don't 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 hold it don't don't hold it in because it's it's just causing you stress but if this is what somebody has to do towards you, my G2 family, they're scared to approach you because of this new mindset. But they know that this is something that they have to do. It's driving them crazy. They know that that's the only choice. It's to offer you or to share to you 
this just or to bring some type of communication. Saying you put an end to something. Yeah, you yeah, you put it into the cycles. You put it into them. Okay, my G3 family. Listen. Listen, 44, 44, 44, protection, guidance. Um, yeah, you 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 you're you're utilizing your key. That's what it is. You finally made peace and found harmony with your dragons because you tapped into that millennial mind state, mindset. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Grow the family. Listen, if you got anything from this and you feel led to donate, please leave your girl a donation. I would love that. Thank you in advance. And again, please like, share, subscribe. Let's grow the family. Let's get G3. Let's get Goddess Goddess in the algorithm, okay? Yes. Anyway, um, I love you guys. And choose wisely out here. I, I, I have no doubt in your decisions, okay, my millennials? <laughs>